to go out there and perform, even as a child, was not a challenge as far as my disability was concerned. I just, you know, went out there and pretty much did it. Because there's so much other stuff out there. I refuse to give up. It's something that needs to be kept alive as long as I'm alive and as other players and singers and everything, they're, they're alive. They've got to get it out there to the masses that jazz is living and well. Well, the, one of the biggest breaks was The Tonight Show when I performed on that in 86. I actually was on there for 11 times. Then, as you know, I did the Sesame Street thing and the Kennedy Center Honors and the tribute to Stevie Wonder and all of this kind of stuff. Just by living on life's terms to the best of my ability is what I do. And just rely on the support of friends and family when I go through the downs and, and I guess through the ups too, because sometimes it's just as hard to deal with success as it is with failure. Just being a, an example to the blind population is enough in itself to, you know, to represent that sort of thing. There's a song that Donny Hathaway wrote called Someday Will I'll Be Free. The first part is hang on to the world as it spins around. Just don't let the spin get you down. Things are moving fast. Hold on tight and you will last. Love is lovelier. Somebody who's willing to go out of their comfort zone is willing to take that leap of faith and, and jump into the unfamiliar. Go to the White House while Obama's in office and hopefully perform and meet with the president. The stars that fell like rain out of the blue. Women's History Month.